welcome back to DX Explorer for one more video. Uh, today it's not going to be a long one. I'm gonna try to keep it short, but uh, anyway. So a um, uh, little while ago, I received my uh, call sign finally, and uh, thanks to my friends from Raw Waves, um, I managed to do some uh, QSOs uh, on HF uh, thanks to the True SDX transceiver that uh, they sent me. But before they sent me the transceiver, I purchased another Baofeng uh, UV5R just because the Baofeng that I had uh, it stopped working about a year ago or two years ago, I can't remember. I used to have that one aboard my sailboat while I used to live aboard in, uh, in Florida. And uh, yeah, I, I had that one programmed on the VHF marine frequencies and I was using it that way and it <laughs> ended up uh, being very, very useful at some point <laughs> um, in my adventure to Cuba and back. But anyway, that's another story. Today, it's about this homemade dipole. Uh, I wanted to use the Baofeng for local communications with uh, either simplex or um, local repeaters but I wanted something, uh, an antenna that I can put up on my house and uh, I can use uh, very well so I don't have to use the rubber duck antenna that came with the Baofeng and uh, which works well when I'm outside but if I'm inside the house usually I don't receive very well. So um, yeah, I built this antenna um, probably a year or two years ago um, and I was, I was using it with the other one just to receive I couldn't transmit <laughs> but uh, I wanted to do some improvements and because a lot of people ask me on Instagram uh, about details on this dipole antenna uh, a dual band dipole um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it so basically it's for two meters and 70 centimeters bands and uh, it works really really well so yeah anyway uh, basically it's all very simple uh, initially Somebody told me that uh, I should not build a dual band antenna because if I build it for the 2 meters band it will also um, be okay on the 70 centimeters band. But unfortunately the SWR was very different on, the, on both bands so I decided to keep it dual band as it is right now. Um, so I have one element in the left side, the other one in the right side. And then on top, there's another element for the 70 centimeters band. Well, two elements actually. And I'm going to show you details exactly in a little bit with the connections right here. Uh, the length of each uh, element for the two meters band, it's 40 centimeters. And no, 42 centimeters actually for one of these. And the other one has also 42 centimeters. And this one for the 70 centimeters band, it has 14 centimeters long, this one the same. Because uh, the SWR on the antenna is different depending on where you are going to install it. Um, I decided to do some uh, tiny modifications so I can actually uh, change the SWR and adjust it uh, to my needs. So at the end of uh, the two meters band uh, portion, I've added, uh, my antenna is made from a 12 millimeters diameter uh, aluminum bar, uh, tube actually, and the ends are six millimeters and they go right inside uh, the, the big tube. And then I just use a screw uh, right here to screw it uh, and fix it to the big element. And uh, the end of this element it's about 10 centimeters long it goes inside about five centimeters in my case and uh, i did the same thing in the other side to the other element another 10 centimeters element that goes inside five centimeters and this way i adjusted the swr for the two meters band um, I did the same thing for the 70 centimeters portion but uh, this element is only 5 uh, centimeters long and apparently right now it's out about 1 centimeter 
and another one centimeter in this side and the SWR it's great on the 70 centimeters band as well uh, the antenna came out really really nice and uh, I like the fact that I can adjust the SWR on both uh, bands um, usually I checked uh, the SWR on the 2 meters band then I uh, adjust the 70 centimeters as well and then I come back to the 2 meters band to make sure the SWR didn't change in case these two influences each other the distance between these two elements it's uh, one 12 millimeters actually it's exactly 12 millimeters and uh, the distance between uh, the two uh, two um, tubes it's uh, one centimeter long and i'm going to show you now a detail on the way i constructed uh, all the connections in here so um, here i have the elements uh, the way i'm keeping a distance between the elements it's with a brass tube uh, that I found in uh, some of um, electrical um, connectors for the wires and uh, I just uh, placed a screw from one tube to the other that will hold them together they're very very tight and then I only connect uh, the braid uh, sorry the center um, wire of the coaxial on one of the um, one of the elements on the 70 centimeters band since they are both connected together and then I did the same thing in the other side and I connected the uh, outer braid of the coax cable uh, to the 70 centimeters element and pretty much that's it and I'm holding everything together with some uh, plastic uh, stuff I had them from an older uh, TV Yagi antenna that my dad built and I just recovered the parts I cut a uh, little stuff here so I can uh, uh, pass the the spacers uh, through that and then I cover everything with another one oops the other way around and that's it so this is how it goes I'm just gonna place the cover on top put the screw in screw everything to the PVC pipe and uh, pretty much that's it uh, yeah it's very very simple and, he and effective so uh, yeah very very simple antenna very effective it works amazing uh, in both simplex and repeaters on FM I'm actually installing it uh, vertically but uh, I think for <laughs> I'm not sure I need to <laughs> check that but I think for um, SSB and uh, uh, CW you might have to install it horizontally but uh, yeah it does a great job I'm really really happy about it and uh, <laughs> um, until I'm actually finishing my Yagi antenna uh, dual band Yagi antenna for satellite work I'm trying to do some QSOs with this one but I don't think I'm going to be very lucky but it's worth trying anyway so yeah I'm just gonna check the SWR a little bit um, and then uh, show you on the um, on the nano VNA uh, the SWR but it's not perfectly adjusted because actually I want to do the final adjustments when I'm gonna put the antenna in the final position so right now it's just uh, just an idea of uh, what's the SWR the way it is right now so I wanted to show you uh, on the nano VNA the SWR reading but the sun doesn't help very much I'm in the center on uh, 145 megahertz and the SWR is reading 1 to 1.6 that's what I have on the 40 meters band now let me recalibrate this one and I'm gonna go check the 70 centimeters band as well so on the 70 centimeters band I have exactly one to one which is great but yeah I can uh, let me turn this off uh, if I do final adjustments while the while the antenna is going to be up in the final location uh, 
I'm happy. I'm just gonna bring the SWR as low as possible and then enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I'm gonna try in a little bit to see if I can do a contact uh, using the ISS repeater. If, I, if it works, I'm gonna put it on the end of the video. If not, I'll see you next week. Until then, 73, I have an amazing week and an amazing weekend. Happy DXing. Oh, by the way, uh, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on the HF band. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, hear each other and uh, do a QSO together. But uh, I'll be mostly on the 40 meters band and on the 20 meters band. Uh, usually in the evening after 9 p.m. local time here in Romania, I'm mostly listening the 20 meters band. So uh, yeah, hope to catch you on air 73. Thank you.